Today, we're going to be diving into the world of living in Makati as a foreigner by exploring a beginner's guide, including the costs, pros and cons, retirement, and so on. The entire list of pros and cons, including extra detail, is available on the full article, which can be found by clicking on the link in the description below. However, to summarize, the most significant advantages of living in Makati City as a foreigner include being in a modern city and experiencing a modern lifestyle, accessibility throughout the city, high levels of English, beautiful scenery, cleaner than other cities. The cons of living in Makati as an expat include can be expensive compared to other cities in the Philippines, can become very busy, traffic can be a problem, louder lifestyle for retirees. When living in Makati City, you will find that the city is very modern and upbeat. Therefore, the city offers a busier lifestyle that suits some individuals. Being a foreigner in Makati City is also more normalized than other areas. For example, if you are situated in a smaller city or province, then it is likely that you will be somewhat of a rarity. However, as many foreigners are living in Makati City, you may not turn head so much, <laughs> excuse my poor choice of words here, compared to other areas. The financial center is one of the city's hotspots and this is where many large corporations are based. Therefore, accommodation around this area is in high demand and prices reflect the need. In summary, Makati has an enjoyable lifestyle depending on the lifestyle needs. The cost of living and traffic may be a disadvantage for some expats. However, there are many pros to living in Makati city, which makes it one of the most enjoyable areas in the Philippines for some expats. Typically, to live comfortably in the Philippines, you will need a budget of around $1,500. However, to live comfortably in Makati City as a foreigner, an overall budget of $2,000 is recommended. You may wish to increase your budget to $2,500 if you plan to live in a high demand area. There are several neighborhoods that offer a higher cost of living. Two well-known common areas include the Greenbelt Mall and the Financial center. However, it does sometimes pay to live in a more expensive area if you are looking to save time due to the traffic. There are some cheap studios to rent around the 20,000 peso range in Makati City. However, the majority of these in this price range tend to be without furniture and not in the best locations. So this is one consideration if you plan to live or work in Makati. On the other hand, if you are looking for a small furnished condominium in a prime area, prices will start around 35 to 40,000 pesos. The city's food costs are slightly more expensive than other cities in the Philippines, but only slightly. Most street food costs are almost identical to other parts of Manila. However, in my experience, certain Western chain restaurants are more expensive than other cities in the Philippines. Utility prices in Makati City cost anywhere between $100 to $200 a month. This includes electricity, high-speed internet, cell phone bills, etc. Makati is a fantastic city and offers retirees many opportunities for new beginnings and new experiences. Nevertheless, due to the city's developments, the busyness and higher cost of living may be a disadvantage for some retirees. It is possible to experience a similar lifestyle that Makati has to offer, but in a less expensive and less busier part of the Philippines. However, if you are looking for entertainment, investment, or business opportunities during your retirement, you will love Makati City. 